Hello everyone and good afternoon. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, today we are doing our last live class in this whole series that I've been doing. Well, we've been covering topics between marketing and branding and business and today it's all about building and aligning your team. Even if you don't have one, but you're looking to build one and you're looking to bring on some people, whether they're virtual or in your physical lo location, you will want to watch this today. Trust me. So in case you've never been here before, in case this is your first class, my name is Teresa Cantley and I am a brand marketing and business strategist and I work with small businesses particularly brick and mortar businesses, to really help them clearly define their vision so that we can build a plan so that they can grow and they can find their ideal customer and just build their community beyond what they ever thought was even possible. I used to own a brick and mortar store myself. I had a retail store and moved it online and now I have a marketing business, marketing consulting business. So in case this is your first time joining me, welcome, whether you are joining me live or you're joining me on the replay. So like I said, today is all about teamwork and I thought how appropriate, my husband is a huge race car um, fan, particularly Formula One. And if you know anything about racing, Racing is all about teamwork. You know, without the guy that fills the gas tank or the person that changes the tires or the person that actually builds the car, the team can't function. The team can't function. The team, the race car driver, if he's not doing what he's supposed to do, he's not going to win a race and then nobody wins, <laughs> you know, but it's all about the team. And even more importantly, it's all about having a team that is connected together and aligned. And um, by the way, if you, if you also, if this is your first time joining me, um, and in case you don't know me, I am obsessed with college sweatshirts. So my husband travels a lot, and every time he goes someplace, I get a college sweatshirt. And it's funny because people always see, when they see me, they're like, oh, did you go to Berkeley? Did you go to Penn? <laughs> did you go to Stanford? I'm like, I wish. <laughs> So in case this is your first time joining me, yes, I am obsessed with college sweatshirts. So sometimes when I'm having a little bit more of a casual day, you'll see me in a college sweatshirt. That's what it's all about. So anyway, back to what we're talking about today, teamwork. So yeah, so I thought, well, you know, we have these um, hand-drawn pictures all over my house. So I thought, you know, it would be great to kind of talk about teams today. Because it's important when you're trying to scale your business or even if you're just you know, starting out and you got yourself going and now you're ready to go to the next level. Building a team and having a team, realizing that you can't do it all yourself and you weren't intended to do it all yourself, but building a team is so, so, so important. The two things when you're building your business, scaling your business, even when you're just starting out to get to the next level, the two things that you need are a completely clear vision, a clear vision as far as where you want to go and what you want to do with your business, and then having an aligned team, a team that is connected, everybody communicates, and they're all working in one direction. They're all working together to row the boat. And so often, I, when I start working with people, or even when I was in corporate America, so often we had teams that were just, there was a lot of negativity involved and people would bicker and people would be going at each other. And so often, hey Cal, how you doing? Um, and so often what would end up happening is it would derail what the mission of the department or what the mission and vision was of the business. And, you know, many times managers or owners will say to me, well, in order to motivate my team and in order to get them going and in order to get them moving in the right direction, well, they want more money. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the name of the game is people want to make more money, but there's more to it than that. There's way more to it than that. So, and we're going to talk about this today. There is really no magic behind it. It's all about being, it's all about communicating together. It's all about learning how to be a better communicator. And it's all about respect. So we're gonna talk about that today. So if, like I said, if you're trying to build a team and you're, you know, whether it's virtual or in your physical location, you're definitely gonna to wanna to watch this because we're gonna talk about how to motivate them, how to keep things going, and how to bring them together and align them with the vision that you have for your business. You know, and so often, you know, we talk about 
how as entrepreneurs and business owners and even just in life in general, we want to make sure that we're surrounding ourselves with people who lift us up, people who are going to support that vision, whatever it is that you have personally or whatever the business has, people who are going to come together and are going to support each other and are going to lift each other up and fan those flames of passion that you have. And when you have people that don't do that or you have people who get on the negative train or who just like get in there and they nitpick and it can destroy a vision faster than any mistake you could ever make in your business. Having that aligned team and that team of people who are supporting each other and who are lifting each other up no matter what happens is so, so critical to going to the next level. And even surrounding yourself, just in a, if we just talk about personal, surrounding yourself with people when, you, when you're when you trying to achieve a dream, you're trying to build your business, you're trying to you know get that new job, or you're trying to build a new house, or move somewhere, or do whatever that dream is that you have. Surrounding yourself with good people, people who are going to support that, whether something works or doesn't work. You know, and, and a lot of times in businesses, when things when things are great, you know, everybody's good. But when something happens and you kind of have a dip or something doesn't really work out, many times you'll see teams who everybody just starts blaming each other. And we get into the blame game. And that is the absolute worst thing in the world to do. Because, you know, you've heard me talk about before, we talked about this in class number one last week, that mistakes and obstacles that your team faces or that you face are always a chance to learn something new and do something better. So, so how do we do this, you know, and, and, and what does this team look like? Well, for starters, there's different players that you're going to have on the team. Okay, so you have your visionaries. You have the people who have, the, who have these great ideas and these great visions and, you know, these, these great concepts and, and they can really dream up anything no matter what happens. Then you have your integrators. You have your people who can take that dream and put, to, put it together into a strategy and move it forward. You have your taskmasters. Those are the people who are like, okay, just tell me what to do and I'm going to do it. You have your tech people, your people who are super uber in the tech and like understand any kind of app and computer thing possible. And then you also have your cheerleaders. You also have your people who are just, when things aren't going right, they keep cheering on the team. And you really need all of those people together to have a good team. If you have too many visionaries, well then stuff's not gonna get done. If you have too many integrators, well you're not gonna have new ideas coming up. So you need a healthy blend of these people to keep that team moving forward and to keep everybody inspired and focusing on the same thing and aligned, like I said, with whatever that vision is. And I have seen so many times when you get one person, everybody's aligned, but you get that one person who just gets some kind of negative energy in there and it just completely like blows up the works because it's a trickle down effect. If you have somebody that's not pulling their weight, just like in the cars. If you have somebody who's not changing the tires or somebody who's not, you know, changing the gas or putting new gas in. So on your team, if you have somebody who's not pulling their weight, well, guess what? Then everything starts a trick. It's a trickle down effect and everything starts to crumble from there. So we want to make sure that we have a healthy blend of these different types of personalities, but we also want to make sure that everybody is on the same page. And it's not that everybody has to be positive patty all the time, but everybody always has to keep in mind what that vision is for the business and how it affects everybody. Because when everybody is in support and moving the business forward towards whatever that vision is and keeping everything going, well then guess what? It's gonna happen. It's inevitable. It's gonna happen. You're gonna draw more of that positive energy to you. And I have seen it firsthand. I've worked with clients where you know, they have an event, it's a new big giant event that they want to try and they put it out there and you have some naysayers in there who are saying, oh, it's never going to work. So and so is doing this. We should just copy them. Oh, you know, we, we're, we're doing this all wrong. Well, what ends up happening? The event doesn't go so well. But I've also seen it where they try something new, they all come together, they're all 
you know, aligned on the same vision for whatever that event is that's tied into the experience that they're trying to create in the business. And it like, it, it goes gangbusters and is just so super successful. So again, to, in order to do this, it's not just about, you know, because people think immediately, oh, well, I just need to pay people more money. Well, yeah, the, you do you want to pay your people well and, and pay them what they deserve. But it's not just about money. And you, you do want to be able to get to give them bonuses and perks and all that stuff. But when you're a small business, sometimes it's a little harder to do those things. So there's other things that you can do instead that will stretch beyond any of that. So, you know, as a small business, you have more chance to be flexible. You have more chance to give flexibility in schedule, times, deadlines. You know, you can, you can pivot easier. So flexibility is always a big one. Another big one is praise. Being able to praise your employees and give them feedback according to what it is that they respond to. So some people, it's words of affirmation. They like to hear words of affirmation. Some people like physical affirmation where you, you know, pat on the back or, you know, shake your hand or, you know, whatever it is, you know, or just even a smile to give them those words of affirmation that however they respond to it. You know, and the other thing is, is to really let them know that whatever they're saying and however they feel and however, you know, if they have an opinion about something or a suggestion, you hear what they're saying. And not only that, but what they say matters. It doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to implement everything, but just letting them know that you hear them. You hear them, you see them, and what they say and what, they, what they're saying and their concerns or their suggestions, that they mean something and that they're important. Again, not everything might get implemented, but you hear them. And that I have seen because I came from an environment in corporate America where you were not he heard and you were not seen, and in fact, you were criticized. And that leads to a very toxic environment that is just terrible to be in mentally, physically, you know, and it manifests itself in different ways. So as a small business, like I said, you have a better opportunity to be flexible. You have a better opportunity to value, yes, Kelly, valuing every single person. You have a better opportunity to value them. And when things happen, because life happens, you know, family members get sick, kids get sick, they get sick, stuff happens. You have, you can like help them by giving them flexibility, giving them additional time off, giving them, you know, time to do things. I've even worked with, with business owners who, you know, they can't necessarily give them these giant increases, but what they'll do is if they don't have enough vacation time or enough sick time left and they need to take off for something important, they just pay them. They just pay them their, norm, their normal wage because they can, because they can have that flexibility, which I think is amazing, you know, as a small business owner. So, but three things that, I, that goes along with all this and will help you keep people motivated and kind of ties this all together is that number one, that whole communication part keeping in constant communication with people, letting them know that you hear them, you see them, you, you know, even if it's like, how are your kids doing? If you knew that they were sick, how are your kids doing? You knew that their family members or something going on in their family. How is, how are things going? How are you doing? How are, you know, is there anything I can help you with? I mean, those are the biggest things like that are just, I mean, you see people's eyes light up like, oh my gosh, like they really care. So keeping, having that communication, that open communication, and like I said, I've seen business owners where stuff happens and, you know, people have emergencies that come up and they're like, just go, don't worry about it. We're going to take care of you. Don't worry about it. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Because what comes back is because you heard them, you saw them, you helped them, then they're even more vested in making sure that that business, that your business and your vision comes like comes real like stay successful and they're more excited to come to work 
and love their jobs and what they're doing even more. So it's just that simple communication and respect and valuing each and every person for who they are and what they do inside, outside. And that's, you know, that's what it comes down to. And going along with this, number two is contribution. You know, people like to be, they like to contribute. They like to be a part of things. And the more you can make them a part of things, the better. The more that they can contribute their ideas and suggestions and, you know, if you want to try some, start something new to get their opinion about, you know, what they think. Again, you may not implement any, everything, but if you make them a part of it, if you hold, and then also if you hold them accountable for it. So if you, if somebody, you know, has an idea and you say, hey, okay, I want you to run with that. That gives them a chance to shine. That gives them a chance to take that idea and make it a reality and, and do something that they think is contributing to the success of the business. So contribution, get them involved, make them a part of things. And the last thing is creativity. And I can say this, when you are not able to be creative and you're not, and you don't let people be creative, it stifles growth beyond anything. So give people a chance to express themselves creatively. It might be, if you're a restaurant owner, it might be in the specials that they create for food or drink or whatever. In a store, it might be promotions that they came up with or flyers that they came, come up with or maybe even social media posts or anything. New stuff that you wanna implement, workshops and, and free things that they can give to, to clients. Anything that lets them be creative. New store displays. You know, if you're in a yoga, uh, if you run a yoga studio or like a health and wellness center or something, new programs that you can come out with, you know, new ways that you can interact with clients. Let people be creative. If people are able to tap into their creative genius and their creative zone, amazing things can happen. That's how innovations and, and inventions and, and creations and, and new things come out in this world. And that's what makes, that's what makes small business better because you have the chance to to do that even more you have that chance to let people tap into their creative their creative zone even even more even bigger even better because you give them that big because there is that flexibility because you're communicating with them and you're letting them contribute so those three C's so communication contribution and creativity and it comes down to respecting each other and understanding each other's role in making this vision happen, as well as understanding that each person has their own unique set of strengths and skills, and that everybody was brought to the table in that particular business. And if not, if you're searching for these people, they will come to you. If you're trying to, if you're just starting out and you wanna build a team, those people will come to you and they will be brought to the table collectively because they all have a unique set of skills and strengths that the business needs and that will support the vision of the business and will move it forward and make the business successful as well as everybody else. And then, yeah, maybe, you know, everybody can get giant raises and giant bonuses. But I think even more so, and I can say this for myself, um, you know, when you are valued and you are respected and your opinion and and suggestions and contribution matters to the business, you are even that much more dedicated to what you're doing and that much more a part of making this business successful. So if you're looking to build a team, I hope this helped you. If you have a team and your team is kind of not functioning and I, I run into that a lot, I do a lot of, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching um, a lot and I run into it all the time where people can't communicate. They can't, they forgot how to talk to each other. I don't know if it's texting or what it is, but they forgot how to talk to each other. They go and, and you know, somebody has a question and they answer in like these short snippets instead of listening and then answering. Everybody wants to just like chime in. Somebody starts talking, everybody wants to, everybody wants to chime in right away and say what they have to say and give their opinion and no respect each other, value each other. You all have unique experiences. You all have a unique opinion and it is going to move things forward faster if you all are in alignment with each other. 
And if you're a business owner, make sure the key thing is communicate what that vision is. Communicate what your expectations are. Communicate what it is that you're trying to accomplish because the more you can do that with new ideas, with what the what's at the foundation, what the foundation of the brand is about, what your brand is, what the experiences, the unique experiences that you're trying to create for customers. The more you can communicate that clearly to your team, the more they can get aligned with it, the more they can contribute and be creative and communicate with you. So it's kind of like that give and take, and it all comes down to valuing each other and having better interactions and better communication because if you do that inside your business and you do that with each other guess what it goes out into the world because one thing that I teach um, with the people that I work with is I teach them to have more impact and how to interact and communicate with each other so that it can go out and it can make a difference in the world it starts small but it can get so big and it can make such a difference so I hope this helped you like I said this is the last free class that I'm offering um, over this past week. So if you are interested in the first ones that we did, you can go back into previous posts and you can download the worksheets if you wanna do some extra studying and some extra taking notes. But guess what? That's not it. There is something else coming. So this Wednesday, if you don't know by now, but if for this Wednesday, Wednesday and actually sneak peek, we're doing it on Thursday too. But I am hosting a live masterclass where we are going to dive into all of this and how and what you can do and, and the plan that you can build to build your team, to build your business, to scale your business and increase revenue and profitability and make all those dreams that you have come true without adding more hours and more stress to your schedule because I am not about adding more hours and more stress because I did that, been there, done that, not doing it again. Did it for years and it is not fun and don't wanna do it. So we're gonna be diving into that a little bit more in this masterclass. And we're also gonna be talking about some other really, really cool stuff. Plus, on the masterclass, I have a new program that I'm, gonna, that I'm going to be releasing that you are going to definitely wanna hear about. Plus, some super awesome bonuses. So I hope you can join me in the masterclass. I am gonna put a link to it so you can register because there's gonna be limited spots in the comments below. So hopefully you can register and hopefully you can join me on it. It's gonna be at five o'clock Eastern time, which is two o'clock Pacific time. I always get my conversions wrong, I think. <laughs> So hopefully you can join me because it is going to be awesome. If you're a brick and mortar business, um, if you're a, if you own a yoga studio, health and wellness center, doctor's office, um, a restaurant, a retail store, you are gonna want to be on this call because we're going to be talking all about how to scale your business and really focus in on your brand and what you can do to build your team beyond just the products and services that you sell. So you're gonna wanna definitely jump on this call. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I love teaching these classes. If there's anything specific that you want, to, you want me to teach for next time, let me know. Send me a message in my inbox, uh, put a comment here, and hopefully you're also on my mail list. If not, go to TeresaCantley.com Teresa if I can talk. Um, and make sure you sign up today because I got lots of free, cool tips, tricks, all kinds of fun stuff that I send out on a weekly basis. So you're definitely going to want to sign up for that. So anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you got some really cool tips out of here that you can apply in your own business. And again, if you don't have a team yet, it's okay. You can start building one with these tips that I just gave you and searching for the, for the people that you need. If you're a visionary, you want an integrator, you want some tech people, you know, give it some thought. And I hope that you learned something today. And I hope you have a good rest of your day and rest of your week. Take care and I will see you soon.